reporting live, as you can see, from Dallas, Texas. This is where the 14th annual convention is taking place. The team of this year's convention is the Lord of Lords, and the Lord of Lords is really doing great things today. We pray that as you listen to our special broadcast live today, you'll be blessed and you'll be touched. Enjoy Jesus. I welcome you to another Sunday in the presence of the Lord. As we come into the presence of your Lord of Lords, I hope you came with a heart of expectancy as your God is about to bless you. All you have to do is ask him for the grace to obey him more. As you do so, he will give you all your heart's desires. He will have, you will have many more testimonies and your joy will be many in Jesus' name. Give the Lord of Lords the highest praise. Hallelujah. actually getting ready for to start the talent show which is really gonna be great. There's gonna be performances by different groups. There's gonna be dancing, singing, steps, drama, and everything going on. So come and just take a sneak peek at what's gonna go on. My name is uh, Wally Bidu with RCC the the uh, We are friend. here at the convention ground. Right we encourage all the youth of RCC G, every parish, every soul, to come into this convention and have a good time. We have people who come all the way from uh, California, they rode a bus here. Next year, we have people coming all the way from Chicago, they're going to ride bus. It's a Listen. good time to fellowship, to get to know each other, to right benefit now, from each other, and to come together and I'm worship the God, the great God that we all serve. I encourage you guys in Florida and the neighboring states to so come next you year. Have you come next year and meet the best that. team. I hope you guys will win the best team next year. See you. The next Mount Zion Day will be held at 12 a.m. on July 1st. Hope to see you there. Save this date. July 3rd, 2010 will be Baby Evidence at Don Hubbard's first birthday. It's going to be fun and it's going to be at the new church premises at 837 North Street, Jacksonville, Florida, 32211. On July 28th, Mommy Elizabeth Bome will celebrate her 60th birthday. Keep the date in your calendar. Remember Malachi 3.10, as long as you bring all the tithes into the house of God, God will open the window on your behalf and send you blessings that they will not, they will not have enough room to receive it. We're here at the convention and yesterday, Wednesday, Daddy Gio was telling us that if we like to be blessed as he has been blessed, then we need to give all our tithes. We need to obey God and part of the obedience is giving all our tithes from your gifts and your salaries unto God. Be blessed. Hello all, we're live again here from the Redemption Camp in Texas. I'm standing here with Laura and we would just like to know how you've been throughout the convention and what do you expect for the future? Well, first, this is my first convention. I've recently joined up with RCCG. Um, so far, I've had a great experience. Uh, the anointing of God is really flowing. I really enjoy the praise and worship, and the Word of God is really good. And I'm looking forward to uh, basically to see miracles and mighty things happen, and God to speak directly to me on what He has and the vision that He has for my life Thanks and so my much, Laura. You're Thank you for welcome. coming with us. Have a good day. Thank you. Hello all, we're back here in Texas again, and I'm standing here with Brother Wale, a part of the Mass Choir here at the convention. So Brother Wale, we would like to know your experiences so far in the convention and what you expect to come. Yeah, um, we've just had one day now and it's been so great. Uh, the move of God has been great here. Uh, the, uh, the Mass Choir has been preparing for like uh, five, four or five months before now, and uh, everything has been going on so great, and we expect even greater works from the Lord. 
even this afternoon and even tomorrow. Tomorrow being the grand finale, we expect the move of God even to be more, more than we've had even this last uh, two days up to now. And we expect great things for the Festival of Life. It was great talking to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome again, Jacksonville. I'm here with Daddy Abraham Adeniji, and this is our head of our prayer department. And I just want to ask him a quick question. Daddy, how is it? You're being here at the prayer house. You've always heard about it. What is your experience in praying for all of us? How does that help us? How does it help Basically, this is the backbone of the church. And without prayer, there's no way we can sustain our church. Prayer draws the hands of God into our situations. Prayer is the means through which we communicate our desires and expectations to God. And uh, believe me, the strength of this church has been prayers. And that is why we are encouraging all our members to come in. This convention has been one that is encouraging. We have more people into the prayer room than we used to have before. Amen. It's getting better than before, even though it's not as good as expected. But it's getting better. Amen. Thank you, sir. Now you've heard it directly from the man himself, Daddy and Energy. Prayer works, and we all need to pray, and it is the backbone of our church. Daddy, we thank you. Thank you very much. And the other thing for looting by the law altar is a place of sacrifice. And when that altar is polluted, the glory of God will not come upon that altar. Our body is a tabernacle of God. It is the altar of God. Sickness can pollute the altar. Process can pollute covenant can pollute the altar. They will call the name of the Lord and say to manage. Let the altar of my life be sanctified. So that was a peek into what happened in the prayer house. We were just there for a few seconds but we were blessed. As, you, as we said before, the prayer is the backbone and this is where all our prayers are come. This is where they take all our prayer requests and they pray over it. So people pray your words. Again, this is from the convention in Dallas, Texas. Hi everyone, look who I found in Texas. These are two of our youth that left Jacksonville. I'm going to ask him to reintroduce himself to you. I'm BJ Smith. I am Sammy Smith. These are two of our youth that was with us in Jacksonville and now they're here with us in Texas having a great time at the convention. Guys, how are you? Um, you just came in, so what are you expecting from this convention? Um, I expect um, just to have fun, praise the Lord, and um, just, just continue like that. site for it. Okay. The, the, the site does, is not, does not belong to, to Redeem. Okay. I used to go to Redeem, but I'm not anymore. Oh. Um, and so the, 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 the... He's distracting me. What are you doing? <laughs> Please stop I'm distracting sure you, I'm him. I'm sure you can hear me. <laughs> Let's go.
No weapon formed against us shall prosper Our enemies will not prevail Oh yeah Through the lightning and the thunder Your light will guide us as we sail Oh yeah, the music is gonna play, and God, you will have your way. The nations will stand and sing, glory to the King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will stand. As one in singing 